This week, I teamed up with a very special player for the doubles tournament in the 225Ks in Bali, Indonesia, all in a bid to increase my ATP doubles ranking and hopefully get my ranking to a spot where I can potentially play some challenges soon. Now, the conditions here were extremely tough, so we were pushing ourselves alongside playing in the singles, where I was doing pretty decently, so check out the other videos if you want to see that. But today, my partner was Jay Clark, ex-world number 150. He played Roger Federer on court number one at Wimbledon, which is pretty awesome, and he's currently around 300 the world making his rise up the rankings to play the grand slams again after having a wrist surgery so we decided to team up for these two 25k events so let's see how we got on in the first round we were to face two indonesian players nathan barkey who had a career high at 414 doubles at age 19 and a double specialist christopher runcat who's won one atp world tour title he's 34 years old and he had a career high of 68 in the world two very strong opponents another thing to bear in mind this week is i'm defending three atp points from last year in monastir so we had to win this match to defend my points. Hopefully we can get some more this week. So let's jump into match one. Me and Jay playing against these two Indonesian home favorites. Of course, as I just explained, one of them having already uh, achieved some big things in tennis, winning an ATP title, former bold number 68, I believe in doubles. So a double specialist. And these guys have played together quite a bit before. And, uh, you know, we definitely knew they were going to be tough to beat and they were going to play some very doublesy doubles, which, uh, I prefer to play against um, because it's more touchy, more touchy feely. Uh, Jay, obviously, being you know such an intelligent player on the court, uh, it was obviously great to have him by my side to you know help navigate some of the moments in the match. And as you can see here, starting off on the on the right in the right way, and uh, my backhand return was was firing at the beginning of this match. We get a break point chance pretty early on. And uh, yeah, the, this would be the dream start here to, to go up a break. But we knew every game was going to be tight. Every game might have sudden death juices. And uh, it was going to be a, a dog fight uh, most of the way through this match. And we just have to try and keep playing good points consistently and uh, yeah, see what comes out of it. There were so many sudden death juice opportunities in this match. Uh, that's just mostly doubles, but these key moments within the match just can completely change the dynamic. And as you can see, we've won one or two so far. We've managed to build a 4-1 lead. However, had they gone against us, our opponents would have been 4-1 up. So it shows how much of a difference those points make. After nearly being taken out there at 5-2, uh, we were serving here for a chance to close out the first set. However, after going 40-30 down and giving away two break points, we had a sudden death point here. Story of this first set was who's going to win the sudden death juices. And we managed to clutch up and take the first set here 6-3. Now it's all about preserving that momentum going into the second set not giving our opponents a look. Some great patience there from Jay. We managed to get rewarded with another sudden death juice point win. I remember it being this close actually when I was playing, but so many sudden death juices. Really, uh, yeah, important moments in the match. And here it's all about trying to find a break and play some loose return games to see can we get a sudden death juice chance on their serve.
and we can indeed. Now we've got a chance to break and we do take it to go 2-1 up with the break in this second set. And now we've just got to maintain it. Some great returning from Jay. We managed to get the break back after getting broken there. And on Jay service games, it was always about that first ball after the serve. What are we going to do? How can we put some pressure on them? Moving around at the net was important to really try and you know juke them out. Because you know if you can find chances like that to make them play rushed volleys, that was going to be a great opportunity to try and take the points. And here once again, managing to hold the serve and really ask the question of our opponent of whether they're going to just give in or manage to make us kind of serve it out here. Now the confidence is really flowing on the forehand as you can see. And another sun death juice point to go up a double break in this set. This point was huge. But unfortunately Jay putting that ball long and we go 30 love down here in my service game. So how quickly things can change here in this match as you can see. Trying to get Nathan out wide with that forehand there. Jay putting that nice volley in, coming across, taking us out of trouble a little bit. But our opponent's still got two break points here um, to break back in this second set. Now ball travels long. We do win the sudden death. We're one game away. And that has to be one of the most outrageous shots that's ever been hit, especially at that given scoreline. And they hold serve. And now it's up to me and Jay to try and serve it out. Somehow I've missed that volley. The whole open court, a match point. Yeah, we thought it was in. However, get a second chance here at 40 30. I managed to take the win and I collected another three ATP points, defending my points from last year and a good start with Jay. Yes, guys, so managed to dig out the win. Yeah, pretty happy with our performance. Obviously, first time playing together. So I think it was pretty, pretty standard stuff. Both played singles today, so. I was a little bit physically done I and mean, we were both sweating a lot so yeah that's us done for the day I'm gonna go rest eat hopefully not cramp and uh, yeah I'll see you guys on Thursday for the dubs yeah. Vamos. I feel like I've been hit by a bus <laughs> today's again doubles I found out last night that I'm actually playing today gonna get up have a nice easy morning then head to the club and lock in to make semis let's go yes guys so doubles quarterfinals we've got a rematch against Colson and Loof today so I'm pumped yeah I'm gonna go hit some balls and Hopefully uh, get a little bit of a tan as well. Today's warm up was all about feeling the ball. I'd already played these two opponents. We were about to play Thibaut Coulson and Thiemann Luth, two very good doubles players. They'd actually won the week before, so it was gonna definitely be a tough test. Beginning of round two, we're facing Coulson and Luth, who we actually have played before in this tournament. I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but they managed to uh, do pretty well in the first week. You know, me and Jay knew we'd have our work cut out for us, but we started off super strong. Colson with the ace there at 40-30 and a second break point chance here on their serve, slipping away from us. A good start though, giving us some good confidence on uh, arguably the stronger of their two service games. And now it's going to be all about, can we hold our serve and can we find a break? Because these guys were power players. They like to volley, they like to hit balls from the baseline. So how can we kind of create a wall of the net, kind of force them to play shots that they don't necessarily want to play or are good at playing? And, um, you know, from that perspective, how can we make their life difficult? And uh, 
as you can see here, they were starting off strong, some good hands at the net, making our life very difficult on their service games with some huge reach as well. Some of the points in this match were, were pretty hectic and crazy, and it was going to be all about how can we find a way to just negate that. And shots like that just show why these guys were a super, super strong pair. And uh, yeah, we, we really had to just concentrate and lock in and, and really try and hold serve every game. Sudden death juice point here on Jay Sir Colson with the massive return. We do manage to go down a break, unfortunately. And the energy dropped a little bit here from us. They just began to play lights out tennis. Not much we can do with their huge wingspan at the net. And uh, yeah, that break kind of signified a little bit of a, a dip in hope a little bit because they were serving lights out. So we just knew, let's just stick with it this first set, ask the question. But as you can see here, just serving too good. Let's try and find a way here in the second set to try and regroup and. Uh, yeah, try and be a little bit more solid in our service games. And a good effort there for the lob, just travelling slightly long. Another sudden death juice here on Jay's serve. This one was crucial because if we get broken here, we're going to be in some hot water. not quite doing enough there with the lob and we do get broken unfortunately now uh, we really had to, to try and dig deep to, to find the break back and that has to be one of the greatest shots I've ever hit Jay here with the smash, putting it up the middle. Maybe there was some hope that we could really come back in this match. Great scramble here from Jay putting that one more ball back into court. But as you can see, these guys are really making our life difficult, making us play these crazy points just to win one. But we do get rewarded there. And a chance here at Sudden Death Juice. Jay double faults to Sudden Death Juice, unfortunately. Chance for them. And we go down 4-1 in this uh, second set. And from here, it was really an uphill battle. Because it felt like on the day, we were just getting outplayed. Now, definitely not how we wanted to finish the first week. However, me and Jay got promptly back on the training court in between weeks two and three to practice some singles game and of course, prepare for week number two in doubles. And in the first round of week number two, we were to face two Indonesian wildcards who hopefully on paper, me and Jay could get through to defend my points. So week number two starts off with me and Jay once again facing two Indonesian players in the first round. These two players were wildcards. I felt like... Um, it was a good opportunity to potentially go quite deep this week. We had a pretty, pretty decent draw. And, you know, starting off at the beginning of this match, really just trying to assert our dominance with a nice early break. You can see some touchy-feely shots going our way and taking that break pretty early on. The sunsets here in Bali were, were crazy. Playing on this court was so nice in the evening. Um, but as you can see, they, they put up some fight in this second game with <laughs> three insane returns to give them four break points on my service game. However... Here, fighting for a chance at Juice uh, to take this game to go to love up. Great hands there from Jay, and unfortunately, he put that ball long. Well, fortunately for us, and uh, yeah, go to love up. Great dig here from myself, giving us a chance to break once again here at Sudden Death Juice. Jay with a nice return, nice and deep looking to come forwards, play at the net player, put some pressure on. One thing I really liked about these tournaments here in Bali is that they have umpire, scoreboard, lines people, uh, ball kids, 
It was a really, really well put on tournament and it really felt like a professional event, which is really nice for a change. Some of these 15k and 25k futures tournaments do feel like a little bit of a, you know, a club tournament sometimes in the way that they're organised. But that was definitely nice for a change. Unfortunately, losing that sun death point to go five love up. But nonetheless, really playing some good tennis here to start off week number two with Jay. And uh, yeah, looking to, to be as aggressive and get this match done as quickly as possible. Now, I really thought that ball was going to be put away. Jay here with the smash. Unfortunately, putting that long. Maybe shouldn't have been so relaxed on that smash from me. <laughs> and a great return to follow it up. Gives them a break uh, in that game. So now it's down to us to try and break to take the first set. And it comes down to a sudden death juice. Quite a lot of sudden death juices in this set. So it could have really gone either way. These guys are putting up a good fight. A great hustle there from us to take the first set, 6-3. One thing I would add, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you go down there and check if you're subscribed. If you're not, it would really appreciate. I'd really appreciate all of the support from you guys. You guys are what make these videos happen and allow me to compete on the, you know, the ITF tour and try and achieve my dreams and goals. But there, as you can see, just narrowly losing out on a sudden death juice chance. The beginning of this set was a little bit more tight than the first. An inside out volley there, dipping below the net, giving us a break. And now it's my serve to try and serve it out and uh, yeah, keep the lead. And a Monfils-esque smash there, giving us a small chance in this service game. We really wanted to, you know, just try and see what was working as our doubles pairing. I think every pairing it takes, you know, I think I'd say three to four matches to really figure out, you know, what you both do well. Jay was a player that really liked those touchy-feely shots as opposed to, you know, hitting it really big. Um, which was, uh, yeah, definitely takes, you know, getting used to from my perspective. I like to kind of play quite like knock-offy knock volleys and, and try and play fast and aggressive. So it was definitely, um, you know, different, uh, a different style for sure. But obviously Jay with so much experience providing, you know, that, that insight to the team, which was really good to, you know, play from him and, and, and learn from what, you know, his decision making was on key points. And uh, yeah, here, it's a 5-3, serving it out. Pretty routine game here to, to try and take us through to the second round once again. And here, 40 love. Jay with the smash, we managed to take the win, defend another three points from last year, and again, carry on our campaign to try and take the title. And up next in round number two, it was Ali Habib and Yuvan Nandal. Ali was ranked top thousand, Yuvan was ranked just outside the top thousand at the time. So definitely two very strong opponents for the second round. We didn't manage to get too much footage in between these doubles matches because obviously I was focusing on filming a lot for the singles vlogs, which will be coming out very soon. So subscribe to the channel if you're excited about them. There's some interesting and very exciting stuff coming. So in this second match, me and Jay were going in, having both played singles and doubles, obviously the last two days. So we knew fatigue was going to be a slight factor and we knew our opponents we both watched them play and you know we knew that we've got to start strong really look to just try and be aggressive because these were confidence players so if we give them confidence and you know give them a lead and give them any opportunity they're going to do what they do best and hit aces like that um, and obviously we go two love down which is pretty much the opposite of what I wanted but Jay with some insane hands um, you know we decided let's try and dig ourselves out of this hole
So Ali, hands at the net. Now it's down to us to really try and consolidate the break that we've just had. Um, obviously, again, you get a break point chance here. Jay puts the volley away and we go 4-2 up. And this is probably the perfect response to obviously going 2 love down. And now it's just about can we keep that up? Can we keep the momentum? And uh, yeah, keep battling to win the first set. Insane dig there from Jay, and we get 30 15 chance here at 5 4. Now it's all about trying to scramble this point, get because obviously sudden death juice means you get two, we would get three set points, but unfortunately not. However, we do get one here at sudden death juice, and we come in, do the right thing, and Ali just puts that pass, he shot up the line, denies our chance, but now we've got to ask the question again here at 5 all. And even with some great put away shots, it still comes back to juice here in this game. Jay at the back looking to just be nice and solid. I'm at the net, just trying to hold my positioning here. And Jay with the backhand into the net, giving them a break and taking them to 6-5, serving for the set. And Ali was serving great this day. I'll give him credit where credit's due. 40 love up. Um, <laughs> came across and uh, took a chance there, but it paying off. However, I'm 40-15. They take the first set. Now it's down to us to try and regroup and uh, yeah, find a way back. So my serve here, this game was going to be crucial. You really don't want them to get a double break lead. Obviously with us trailing, like I said at the beginning, about confidence, shots like that, um, don't even know what I was doing there. Um, games like that are important to just keep keep it within touching distance. Otherwise, you know, they'll begin to just play even better uh, knowing that they've kind of got a double break. So, you know, I said to Jay, let's just try and keep it tight, try and do what we can, hold our service games and yeah, then look for a break. Small chance here at 30 after a great return. Looking to really just get on that forehand side. Jay with the nice volley. Got the whole space to hit into. Nice deep ball gives us a few chances on serve. And this sudden death is a great opportunity to try and break. And unfortunately, Jay misses the return and I hit my opponent. Uh, now, I was completely out of accident. I obviously had no intention, but I did get a co violation for it uh, for ball abuse. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Obviously, it wasn't intentional. My opponent said it was completely fine. He was, you know, no worries. But the umpire still decided to give me a co violation. And I was pretty annoyed here this game. Um, I just went for broke on pretty much every serve. Uh, but it was, it kind of worked and, you know, let out a lot of that kind of anger from me. And now it's down to them to serve it out for the match. Credit where credit's due, they did a great job under the pressure of serving it out to, to kind of execute pretty good and yeah, it wasn't our day. And so unfortunately with Jay, it wasn't to be. However, we did manage to pick up those six ATP points. Hopefully we can team up again soon and get a title. <laughs>